In this video I'm going to show you a really cool and quick method to upscale your AI images for free. So the site I found for this is called upscale.media and there's literally no limitation on how many images you can upscale for free. The only limitations that you do have is the input size can't be bigger than 1500 by 1500 pixels which is okay and also you can only upscale the images by four times or make them 400% larger. So you can't go times eight or times 12 and like some of the other tools, but nevertheless, this is still amazing for a free option. And to get started, all you have to do is drag and drop your image onto the site and then it's going to scroll down and start uploading and processing this. Now I'm using the same wolf image that I used in one of my earlier videos where I compared six different image upscalers and I thought this way we'll get a better sense of how good this tool actually is in comparison to some of those other ones that I showed off. Once the options pop up, what you want to do is head down to upscale, change this to 4x, it's going to reprocess, uh, there's also an option to change it from enhanced quality right here, off or on. And I have found that turning this on definitely leads to a better result, um, a lot smoother, maybe a tiny loss of quality, but not as much um, JPEG artifacts or uh, pixelation around the edges. So here we go, it's finished generating. This is with enhanced quality turned off and you can get a sense of the result right here on the right hand side. You see the original on the left and the AI upscaled on the right. So there's still a bit of like waviness around the edge of the ear. The fur around the edge looks quite good. A lot of detail has been retained and the eye I think also turned out decent, but it gets even better if we turn enhanced quality on, which just has to reprocess the image then and take another few seconds. Upscale.media, by the way, whilst doing it manually once at a time is free. They also have a paid plan where you can do it in bulk with multiple images, which is something I'm definitely going to look into because there's one thing that I hate is doing processes or tasks that are very tedious once at a time. So I don't know what the cost is. Uh, this is not meant to be like an advert for it. I just think that's amazing that that sort of tool exists. I've been looking for one for a while now. This is enhanced quality turned on. Uh, let's see what this looks like. As you can see now around the ear, a lot of the JPEG artifacts and the waviness is gone. Looks a lot, lot better and smoother. I think the eye also, you can tell it looks a lot cleaner and the color is a lot smoother. Some of the detail might get lost in the fur, but overall the result holds up very well against some of the paid tools out there. I'm going to put up some comparisons right now up on screen with uh, upscale.media versus gigapixels, upscale versions, and also nightmare AI, just to get a better sense or a better idea of the, the quality difference right here. So definitely a very valid option. Um, I really like this website. I think it's really cool and easy to use. And once you're done with your upscaling settings, you can just head to download image right here and save it to your device. And um, it will advertise the, the bulk upscaling as well right here, but you don't need to sign up for that to use this website. And I've just had a quick look on their pricing page and this is for upscaling images in bulk. I know you can't read the whole uh, sentence right there, but they even have a free version, which I'm definitely going to try out where you can do apparently 55 images um, in bulk. That is definitely really cool. I don't think I've seen any free tool out there or free option to bulk upscale images. So even if you just use it for 45 images a month, that's still going to save you a good few minutes, probably at least half an hour to an hour, depending on how quick you are doing it manually. So, I mean, even if you don't sign up to this, this can still save you quite a bit of time with the free version, which is amazing. If you want to learn how to create really amazing mid-journey images, then make sure to check out this video next where I show you a really cool free tool that will help you generate highly detailed prompts.